Uh, luckily, I was able to get somebody for the role of Allison. Uh, I did numerous rewrites on the, on the uh, film. Um, and by the time uh, Allison really got, uh, Mimi Tran got the part, it was, uh, it was due to uh, me casting an actor named Jake Michael LaFont to play the part of uh, Deputy Robert Kersey that I happened to get, luckily enough, uh, Mimi Tran to play the role of Allison. Jay got me this uh, role. Um, I read the script and I decided to do it. This is my first time filming ever and um, it was it was an experience. It was very fun. Matt was very good to work with, very kind. Um, Jay, it was really hot. We, uh, whenever we got to Matt's house, there was like the storm that passed, uh, like three cities. What was it called? Do you know what it was called? What it was called? The city. Ward? Ward. No, the city that the storm. I don't know. Well, whatever. We passed through the city and there was like, it was major. How did I prepare for this role? Oh my god. Um, I didn't. I actually, what I did was I. I was reading over the script in the car on the way to Arkansas because I just got my wisdom teeth pulled out two days before. It was very noticeable in the movie, as you can tell if you watched Indestructible yet. Um, it was painful. I was in pain. We didn't have electricity, like I said, and um, it was it was uh, it was fun though. Like I said, Matt is a very good director to work with. I mean, it's my, this was my first time. I mean, he helped me, he guided me through every line that I had to go over, and he was just there for me. And I appreciate that. Thank you, Matt. Oh, the death scene. Oh, uh, it was brutal. I was in a car, a truck, actually, and um, Matt, or the Instructable, what's his name? Huh? Kirby. Kirby. Kirby, I'm sorry. Kirby. Wow. Um strangled me and threw me through <coughs> the car window and uh, there was glass everywhere it was crazy and then i had like blood and i had to like drink this like red carol, carol you weren't supposed syrup. to drink it i didn't drink it but it was on my mouth it was like really sugary and nasty and um and uh we died in the front in his front yard on the thing and uh he's gonna add some special effects to it so it's gonna look pretty cool well, they were both great. Uh, Mamie was really good for me never being in a film before. And uh, Jade, he was really good as, as the deputy. He was basically takes the place of uh, Steve Austin to the rest of the movie. Steve Austin was actually in the shorts um, as different characters in the original Kill Seeker shorts. So it was kind of something to be able to put him in here in a little spot, even though he was supposed to be the Chuck Norris kind of character, and then I turn that around and whack. Chuck Norris is dead right off the fucking bat, so what do you think of this? <laughs> My character kicked ass at the end, so that was kind of cool. Actually really did hit my nose whenever I got hit on the ground, so yeah. Um... Tricked your nose Okay, um, shooting the actual gun was, well the guns, I knew it was kind of startling at first because, you know, we didn't know what to expect. I have never shot a gun. I know Mimi never shot a gun. I think Mimi was more eager to shoot the gun than me. Um, but, you know, I mean, in Wolfica, they added that in post. So actually sitting there and shooting the gun, like laying out this round, of this clip into a person, you know, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. <laughs> kind of cool. Um, I don't know, not hearing for a good minute after, you know, kind of had its drawbacks, but I don't know, it was fun. Towards the end, I know I missed, I didn't really know how to shoot the shotgun, so I shot it, and then I did it like a minute later, I clicked it out, so I mean, hopefully they won't use that, maybe in the bloopers, you know. I'm sure they'll have a lot of bloopers on this tape of sweaty people, because it was hot. Um... I don't know. I liked it. How does this compare to any of the other roles that I've had? Well, I played a cop a lot. Hopefully next time I won't be playing a cop. You know, kind of want to get out of that thing, typecasting. 
Um, I don't know. It felt like we kind of had more freedom on this, especially a year ago I shot The Inherited, and we didn't really have a lot of freedom with how we delivered our lines, and, you know, it was just a very rigid rehearsal and everything, and, you know, basically we got the script, what, a week and a half or two weeks before, and, you know, I mean, we knew a gist of the lines. We didn't know it word for word. What's it like working with no power all weekend? Well, you know, it was hot. And we had to uh, charge the camera and stuff at a gas station at one point. Which, um, you know, got a few stares out of people. Because we were all, like, in costume. I wasn't in costume, but y'all were. So, you know, Mimi straightening Matt's hair in the... Uh, where they made pizzas and stuff like that, you know, it was kind of weird. It was very, from what I remember, it was just like, you know, it was really bad weather. It was just like, you know, it wasn't a pretty day. They didn't have a pretty day for that whole weekend. It got pretty, like, right whenever we were getting ready to leave. We, you know, he got us. He, uh, you know, he took two people in his house that he had never met before. I mean, I think the first time I talked to him was actually on the car right up there other than through email and everything. So, you know, letting strangers into your house, you know, two strangers that are actually really close. I don't think he actually knew how close of friends we were. Maybe by our MySpaces. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of, you know, have to say that on him, you know, good. He was actually nice. You know, he wasn't a jerk like some directors I worked with, not mentioning names. Um, it's just, you know, he was game for anything. He was open to suggestions. And it was just, you know, fun. I had fun. I enjoyed it, even though it was in, well, on the out exterior, it would look kind of like hell because it was so hot. It was very hot, but I tend to be in movies that end up having no air conditioning, so, you know, the budgets aren't really high. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, I had fun, and it was okay. I liked it.